All right, so solve this problem. Um, guys, when you're given an impound inequality, what we need to make sure we do is just solve each inequality separately. All right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to say negative 2m plus 7. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract 7 on both sides. I'm going to treat it just like in its equation. Therefore, I have negative 2m is greater than or equal to 6. Divide by negative 2, and I have m is now less than or equal to negative 3. Why is it now less than or equal to? Because remember, remember, write this down if you keep on forgetting it. Whenever you divide or multiply by a negative number, we need to make sure we flip the sign. Okay? Next, let's go ahead and solve this inequality. Remember, it's just like an equation. You use the same properties of inequality. First thing we need to do is undo addition and subtraction. So I'm going to subtract the 12 on both sides. I get 5m is greater than 25. Divide by 5, m is greater than 5. So now what I have is I have two inequality statements that I need to represent on the same graph. Okay? The first inequality statement is all numbers that are less than negative 3 or all numbers that are greater than 5. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a number line that's going to have both these numbers on there. So let's do negative 4, negative 3. Um, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay, so now my number I includes both these numbers. The reason why you want to make sure both these numbers are included is because these are what you have to have, you know, this is what you're going to go off of. So I'm going to make a dot at negative 3 and at 5. Now remember, we only close the dot if it's true. So I look at this and I say, is negative 3 less than or equal to negative 3? Is that true or false? And the answer is true, right? It's equal to. So therefore, we close this dot, meaning our graph is going to be a part of that. Okay? Lastly, if you guys look at 5, is 5 greater than 5? And the answer is false. Therefore, we're going to leave it open. So now, the last thing that we're going to look at is this represents all numbers that are less than, negative, less than or equal to negative 3. So that is going to represent numbers to the left or to the right. And you guys can notice that all numbers going to the left are going to be less than. And then graphing problems to the right are going to go to the right. Because this says all numbers that are greater than 5. Obviously, the numbers to the right are greater than the numbers to the left. So your compound inequality should look like that. Okay? <laughs>